what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's another day of morning routine but it's a little different from usual because i've been very busy so i'm gonna show how i practice in a busy day you can watch more morning routine on these old videos basically around this time i play two pieces for round through practice like i share on this channel before but today is side read playing so go easy on me After sight read practice, I did a section practice for over stand number one. But before doing, let me get some water. I need to be hydrated because the air of this room is kinda dry. I personally like drinking fizzy water. If you have one, share your favorite in the comments. Alright, let's dive into section practice. 1, 11, and 12. I was playing this bar by finger muscles independence. Like this. Let me play faster. What is happening if I played by those muscle and tendons independence is tiredness of fingers. Get tired soon, can't play fast, finger pain as well. But currently, I've been playing by Russian method and it made me play much faster and easier. I actually didn't like these two bars, but now I like it for some reason. And here's how to practice. There are two different patterns here. First one is CFCF, second one is CFCE. Your muscle cell needs to memorize these different distances. So now I'm playing CFCF slowly. And next one is CFCE to let my muscle catch the difference of these distances. To play fast and accurate without independence of fingers, you need to know which position you put each five fingers, how to lean your hands, how to use specific muscles. I'm teaching those details in my online lesson so you guys can apply through Instagram DM if you guys are interested in it. Alright, let's go back on track and let me show one more way of practicing. I'm calling it connection practice and that's a very common way almost everyone does. Now I'm playing all of these notes and adding one by one like this. You can practice the connection between notes and next notes through this practice. Now I shared how to practice, but it has a big difference between methods. So I don't teach which position you need to hit key down or which muscles you need to use or not and blah blah blah. So if you guys are more interested about painless method, Russian method, gravity method, and Chopin method, let me know. Also, I can teach high finger method too because that's the first method I learned in my life. I will tell you each differences and more specific way of using hands in our online lesson. Alright then, let's do slowly, and let me try faster after that. Alright then, from different angle. All 
right, section practice is done, and I'm still wearing pajamas, so let me change my clothes. Here we go. I told you guys I've been very busy past few days. That's because I was accepted to attend to master class by the most famous pianist in the world. That is very unexpected plan, so I'm literally not ready to go. Gotta pack my stuff, book airplane tickets, and hotels as well. Also need to get seat music, need to analyze a piece, and need to practice as well. So what am I supposed to do first? <laughs> I'm definitely not the person who is good at multitasking, so I gotta write down all I gotta do to organize my brain. I often use post-it notes when I write down to-do list and separate things into the same field. I guess when I post this YouTube video, I'm already learning in a different place and while learning, I will cancel all the lessons. But all my students kindly said, don't care and just go learn. So I want to say thank you to all my students who agreed with me going. All right now, I have one online lesson for a student who is coming from Middle East. So I teach him now and he was okay to be posted our lesson. So let me show you guys a bit. Is D C B A, and the next one is C. Just going down from D and from C. First one is from D. Second one is from C. All right. First one you have D, right? Alright then, I gotta prepare for Instagram and YouTube posts because I cannot film any videos while I go study piano. So I will film 100 videos for Instagram and 30 videos for YouTube. That sounds insane, but I don't want to stop my channel, so I'll do my best that I can do now. Basically, I use two or three cameras for YouTube video and two iPhones for Instagram. Basically, I do everything by myself, but sometimes like music video or promotion video like concert hall shooting, my staff members join me. to film but I couldn't finish everything up so I will keep on filming until I go. Alright then I will have lunch after this and need to pack my stuff for the flight. That flight is gonna be kinda long trip. Alright it's time to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. See you in the next video. Have a good practice day. Bye!